So I'm interested too in, you said translation earlier, teaching across the map. And um, who are you, this was a question from the audience, who are your favorite poets in translation? Um, but I also want to talk, uh, you to talk a little bit about um, your relationship to translation. And you've been translated, and uh, do you translate, and what's the, what's the value you kind of find in that? Um, one of the favorite poets for me, of course, is Neruda. Mm -hmm. Neruda is, is so important as a world poet. Um, Lorica mm. is important. Um, a poet such as Milos. And it's interesting with Milos because I'd come across an image. I think it's Christians in the Ghetto, mm -hmm. that particular poem. And there's an image of the mole with a lantern underground. I had never cr come across an image quite that, like that. So um, that was a very informative image for me. Um, I think it colored a lot of, not necessarily images in my work, but permission. Mm. It's permission to let the brain do what it does best, and that is imagination. Mm -hmm. Going back to um, Fitless Weekly's idea of is her poem on imagination, mm -hmm. mental optics. So um, a poet such as Herbert is so important because of his facility philosophy. Um, and there are other voices okay. out there, um, of course. Villon, mm -hmm. um, Galway Cannell's translation of Villon. So uh, there's a line, I wheel my bones to the dice maker. Ooh. I said, where does that come from? <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. right. So, 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 so all of these things um, become a composite within one psyche. And it is something to not work against, but to beckon to. Mm -hmm. um, and not necessarily, it gave me permission not to over question the images that came out of my psyche to embrace them. Mm 